Alright, so next, what is buffer solution? Okay, buffer solution, if let's say this is your buffer solution, kan? Okay, it's basically, is a solution yang di mana dia boleh maintain pH of sesuatu solution tersebut bila um, you add small amount of strong acid ataupun strong base, okay? So, basically, buffer solution ni, if let's say this is your buffer solution, dia contain weak acid and also dia punya garam. Garam dia tu ialah conjugate base lah. We can sit with its salt. Ataupun dikenal sebagai conjugate base. And also, ataupun uh, it can be weak base with salt dian sendiri. Ataupun we can call it as conjugate acid. Okay. Itulah buffer solution. Buffer solution tu macam tu. Sama ada dalam tu, dia ada weak acid ataupun conjugate base dia sendiri. Ataupun weak base dan also dia punya conjugate acid dia sendiri. So, uh, sebabkan itulah dia ada two types of buffer solution. Di mana you akan ada acidic buffer solution ataupun basic buffer solution. Kalau acidic buffer solution, that means dalam buffer solution tersebut akan ada weak acid dengan dia punya salt. Ataupun we call it as conjugate base. Ataupun kalau basic buffer solution, this is when the solution contains weak base dengan salt dia. Ataupun we call it as conjugate acid. Where the pH of the acidic buffer solution will be less than 7 and the pH of the basic buffer solution is more than 7. Okay, so you can ingat balik apakah basic uh, buffer solution ni? Buffer solution ni, dia takkan kalau you add a small amount of acid ataupun base into a solution, dia takkan ubah uh, the pH of sesuatu solution tersebut. Okay, first thing first, how can you do acidic buffer solution? Macam mana you nak prepare acidic buffer solution? You can do it by mixing a weak acid and dia punya conjugate base. Contohnya, if let's say you are the weak acid C, H3COOH, right? So, this is the weak acid yang dimasukkan, for example. Okay, so kalau you nampak saja dia ada pasangan dia, uh, salt, kalau let's say dia punya salt, C3COONA lah. Kalau dia punya conjugate base, ataupun conjugate base dia, it can be CH3COO- minus. Uh, macam mana tahu you do conjugate base? Because kalau uh, C3COOH ni, dia dissociate partially in water, Uh, so dia akan donate, dia akan hilang proton kan Bila dia hilang proton, dia akan menghasilkan produk CH3COO- So this is the, dia punya conjugate base Tapi kalau dia dalam bentuk salt, dia akan letak Na kat belakang ni lah Okay, so kiranya kalau let's say you ada acidic buffer solution uh, Kat dalam ni ada weak acid Plus kan dengan dia punya salt ataupun dia punya conjugate base. Okay, so kira dalam ni akan ada uh, CH3COOH and also CH3COONA ataupun uh, CH3COO- So, apa yang berlaku dekat dalam uh, acidic buffer solution ni? What happen here is, okay, you kena ingat dua fix uh, benda ni, dua fix equation ni untuk acidic buffer solution kira apa yang berlaku dalam ni ialah uh, weak acid ni dia akan dissociate partially, dia akan menghasilkan conjugate base H3CO- and also H+, tapi kat sini tak ada water lah and how about dia punya salt dia punya salt C3CO and A ni akan dissociate completely uh, pun dia akan menghasilkan C3CO- dengan Na+. You just need to remember this saja. Bila soalan cakap acidic buffer solution, oh terus ingat this equation. So apa yang berlaku kat sini, the amount of C3COO- in the solution is mainly from the complete dissociation of C3CO and A. Kiranya uh, amount of C3CO- ni is basically it all depends on the C3CO and A lah. Dia akan Uh, depends pada salt okay and acidic buffer solution uh, buffer system dia akan ada uh, ni lah tiga-tiga komponen ni CH3COOH CH3COO- and also CH3COO and A okay so sekarang ni 
If let's say you ada this acidic buffer solution. Uh, ni memang fix lah benda yang you kena ingat. Okay. Dua-dua equation ni you kena ingat. Okay, so what happen kalau let's say I letak small amount of acid di dalam acidic buffer solution. Okay, you bayangkan lah. Dua-dua equation ni, these two equation berada in one beaker. And beaker tu kita namakan dia sebagai acidic buffer solution. So what happen if let's say I add a small amount of acid. Uh, ke dalam this acidic buffer solution yang di mana ada dua-dua equation ni berada dalam beaker ni. So, apa yang berlaku? The concentration of H plus akan increase. So, bila concentration of H plus ni akan increase, apa yang berlaku kalau you belajar Tamil Shortelius principle, kalau concentration of product increase, dia akan shift the equa uh, shift direction to the to the where? To the left. Okay. Uh, so, the reaction will be shifted to the left. Okay. Sebab dia nak kurangkan uh, the concentration of H plus ni lah. So, what will happen here is most of the H plus yang kamu dah add ni, yang this small amount of acid yang dah added ni, it will be consumed by the CH3CO minus untuk hasilkan CH3COH ni lah. Since that the reaction uh, is shifted to the left untuk mencapai equilibrium, kan? Therefore, akan form more CH3COH lah. Inilah apa yang akan berlaku. This is the equation apa yang berlaku bila small amount of acid is added. Kena hafal ke benda ni? Ya, yeah, kena hafal. Kalau soalan tu tanya, uh, apakah yang akan berlaku kalau semua lamaan of acid is added? Uh, first thing first, you tulis dua-dua equation acidic buffer solution ni. Uh, and the third one is you tulis equation bila semua lamaan of acid is added. Di mana uh, kita akan fokus pada C3COO- okay. So, kita akan ambil C3COO- ni. Uh, sebab C3COO- ni akan affected, yang akan consume deh the small amount of acid yang added so equation yang terbarunya after the small amount of acid is added will be CH3CO- minus plus kan dengan H+, plus. kenapa H+, plus? because kita panggil yang small amount of acid is added ni with H+, plus. ok, kita boleh just uh, gelarkan ataupun letak simbol H+, plus untuk represent the small amount of acid yang dah di added tu, tapi kamu letaklah dalam kurungan ada kat sebelah face aqueous ni so that the examiners will know, oh, this is a new equation of the acidic buffer solution after the small amount of acid is added. Therefore, they akan menghasilkan product CH3COOH. As a result, there will only be small change in pH and the concentration of CH3CO minus ni, since that the reaction will be shifted to the left, the concentration of CH3CO minus akan berkurang, tapi concentration of Reactant CH3COH ni akan bertambah. Okay. Uh, so, macam tu lah dia ya. You kena hafal uh, dua-dua equation ni dekat uh, uh, dua-dua equation of acidic buffer solution ni. Sebab nanti bila small amount of acid is added, the one yang akan affected is this H+. Okay. So, bila H+, ni affected, uh, therefore, untuk mencapai equilibrium, since that H plus ni dia punya uh, apa tu, concentration bertambah so the reaction will be shifted to the left. So you can create another new equation bila the small amount of acid is added di mana you can ambil dia punya conjugate base H3CO minus ni you add with H plus uh, H plus ni lah small amount of acid yang added tu lah and then you will get C3COH so this three Equations penting untuk you hafal uh, bila soalan tanya uh, what happened to the acidic buffer solution when a small amount of acid is added. Okay? okay so what happened dekat acidic buffer solution when a small amount of base is added? Again, uh, you can ingat these two equations the berada di dalam acidic buffer solution. Okay, so sekarang ni, 
bila small amount of base is added, base yang dimasukkan adalah OH minus. Okay, so sekarang ni you tengok these two equations, siapa yang akan affected bila OH minus, a small amount of OH minus is added to this two equations, who will be affected? So, CH3COH yang will be affected. So, you kena ingatlah kalau let's say you ada acidic buffer solution, you kacau, you campurkan base dekat dalam acidic buffer solution tu, the one yang will be affected is CH3COOH. Okay? So, what will happen? Uh, this weak acid CH3COH, dia akan neutralize the base yang added. Okay, you kena ingat tadi, acid ditambah acid. So, benda ni dah lah acid. So, acid-acid. So, dia repel. Benda kalau opposite, dia attract. Uh, ni, uh, uh, base added kan? OH-. So, uh, this one is acid. So, dia akan mix well lah. So, that's why dia akan choose CH3COH instead of CH3COO-. Faham tak? Okay, so dia akan choose CH3COH ni. Uh, so, therefore, CH3COH ni, we know that it is a weak acid. Okay, this is a weak acid. So, apa yang berlaku kan kita kacau dia by adding a small amount of base. So, this this is the base yang kita kacau tu. The small amount of base yang we added which is OH minus. What will happen? Dia akan menghasilkan CH3COO minus dengan H2O. Ha, kat sini you ada pertambahan sikit lah H2O dekat equation ni. Why? Because neutralization happen between acid dengan base. Okay. Uh, tapi apakah akan berlaku dekat dia punya pH? Yang ni pun you kena komen. So basically kalau you ada this kind of question, you suruh kamu komen. What happen when a small amount of base is added to the acidic buffer solution? You kena ingat tiga, uh, tiga equation ni lah. Equation pertama, equation yang kedua, equation yang ketiga after uh, the small amount of base is added to the acidic buffer solution and you need to give comment di mana there will be a small change in pH only okay okay so senang cerita uh, dalam acidic buffer solution ada these two equations yang berlaku because dalam acidic buffer solution akan ada dia punya weak acid and its uh, conjugate base ataupun its salt lepas tu acidic buffer solution ni dia ada dia contain CH3COOH, CH3COO minus and also CH3COO and A. Cumanya, bila you add acid to the system, okay, makanya um, the one yang akan affected ialah this H plus and CH3COO minus ni akan consume uh, so that dia akan change the, apa tu, into product CH3COOH, okay. So, you kena ingat ni lah, you kena ingat equation ni. You kena ingat equation ni. Lepas tu bila you kacau, you letak small amount of acid. This is the third equation that you need to remember. Okay. Uh, di mana acid tersebut kita boleh labelkan dengan H+. Lepas tu the one yang akan react dengan this H+, ialah the conjugate base of this weak acid. Okay. Ni adalah conjugate base. Hmm. Conjugate base. Kalau S, ah, yelah you kena ingat tu. Kalau you add acid, kalau you add acid, dia akan react dengan conjugate base. Kalau let's say you add a small amount of base, okay, bila you add a small amount of base, uh, you boleh, uh, apa tu, simbolkan base tersebut with OH- so siapa yang akan react dengan uh, the small amount of base yang added tu, adalah acid, weak acid tu yang sendiri. Okay, so kiranya kalau you add a small amount of base, weak acid tu akan react with the small amount of base. Okay, uh, makanya dia akan buat proses neutralization. Sebab apa? Sebab ialah acid react dengan base, makanya dia akan buat proses neutralization. So, bila proses neutralization berlaku, that's why you akan dapat salt and water H2O. Okay? Uh, so, this is the third equation that you need to remember bila you add a small amount of base into this acidic buffer solution.
Okay guys, macam mana nak kira pH of acidic buffer solution? Previously, kalau you nak kira um, sebab nak, kalau you nak kira pH of strong acid, senang je. Uh, negative log concentration of H plus. Kan? Kalau pH of weak acid, uh, senang jugalah. Cuma you kena buat rice table. Bila you buat rice table, you cari concentration of H3O plus. Uh, so, pH dia will be negative log concentration of H3O plus. But what happen if you kena find the pH of acidic buffer solution? You kena ingat dalam acidic buffer solution akan ada dua uh, benda ni. Okay, dia akan ada weak acid with its salt and its conjugate base. Okay, so if you want to find the pH of acidic buffer solution, macam mana you tahu buffer solution? Bila dia ada weak acid dengan dia punya salt ataupun dia punya conjugate base. So, this is the equation. Dia dikenali sebagai henderson hasselbalch equation. Okay. It's different. You tak boleh guna negative log concentration of H plus atau H3O plus. It will be pH will be equal to pKa. P ni ialah negative log Ka lah. Plus kan dengan log concentration of conjugate base ataupun salt. Okay. Conjugate base ataupun salt tu adalah this. CH3COO minus. Okay, bahagikan dengan concentration of weak acid. If let's say weak acid kamu, CH3COH. Uh, concentration of conjugate base of salt tu, CH3CO ataupun uh, minus ataupun CH3CO and A tu kena berada di atas. Okay. Okay, for example, if let's say you have one liter of buffer solution, uh, macam mana you tahu this is a buffer solution because you see here, Dalam question ni dia bagi weak acid, dia bukan bagi weak acid sahaja. Dia bagi weak acid plus kan dengan salt. Ha. Macam mana dia tahu salt? Because CH3COONA. So kiranya kat sini dia kata you ada 1 liter of acidic buffer solution. Ha, dalam soalan tak bagi tahu tau if this is acidic ataupun basic buffer solution. So, you kena tahulah kalau let's say in this question dia mention weak acid dengan dia punya salt. That means this is an acidic buffer solution. So, therefore dekat dalam 1 liter ni bila dia prepare 1 liter of acidic buffer solution ni, you will have 0 0.1 molar of CH3 COOH and also you have what 0, 0 0.1 molar of CH3COONA as well. Okay. So next is kamu cari the pH of the buffer solution. Macam mana cari pH of the buffer solution? You kena guna henderson hasselbalch equation. Yang panjang lebar tadi. Uh, yang Mr. Angkan tu. And then next, disuruh kamu kena create the pH of the buffer solution. Bila kamu add a small amount of acid, which is 0 0.02 molar of HCl. And also a small amount of base. 0 0.02 molar of NaOH. Uh, so that's why it is important for you to have file the equation after you add the small amount of acid or base in the acidic buffer solution. And kat sini dia bagi tahu, assume that the volume of the solution doesn't change when HCl and also NaOH is added. So it will be quite easier lah sikit. And then dia bagi tahu kat sini Ka the uh, acid dissociation constant for this whole thing ialah 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 molar. How can you calculate the pH of the buffer solution? Okay, kat sini dia ada dua jenis soalan tadi kan. Yang pertama, dia suruh kamu calculate the buffer solution. Yang kedua, kalau let's say kamu kacau the buffer solution by adding a small amount of acid ataupun base, what will happen to the pH? Okay, kalau let's say um, Tak ada dalam soalan yang pertama ni, tak ada small amount of acid ataupun base is added to the buffer solution. So, you don't have to use the ICF table. So, you can find the pH of the buffer solution straightly by referring to the henderson hasselbalch equation untuk acidic buffer solution di mana pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of the conjugate base ataupun salt bahagikan dengan concentration of weak acid. That's why it is very important untuk you hafal the two equations yang terlibat di dalam acidic buffer solution. Okay. So, kalau let's say 
tadi dia bagi weak acid CH3COH and also dia punya salt CH3COHNA so CH3COH ni dia akan dissociate partially akan menghasilkan CH3COO- dengan H+, manakala CH3COHNA ni dia akan dissociate completely menghasilkan CH3COO- and also Na+. Okay, tapi di dalam acidic buffer solution ni dua, -dua equation ni berlaku so that's why you need to Tulis, uh, okay, apa yang berlaku dekat acidic buffer solution, these two equations yang berlaku. Okay, and then next, we know that the concentration of CH3COOH ialah 0.1 molar and concentration of the salt CH3COONA adalah 0.1 molar. Okay, and then the Ka given is 1.8 times 10 to the of negative 5 molar. So, senang you masukkan saja dalam henderson hasselbalch equation untuk acidic buffer solution di mana pH is equals to pKa. P ni ialah negative log. Ka, masukkan Ka value 1.8 kali 10 kos negative 5. Campurkan dengan log. Okay, concentration of conjugate base atau salt. Dia ada bagi tahu information pasal concentration of conjugate base ke? Conjugate base is CO minus. Tak ada kan? Tapi dia bagi tahu concentration of the salt which is CH3COONA ni concentration dia 0.1. So, you masukkan sahaja concentration of the salt which is 0.1 bahagikan dengan concentration of the weak acid 0.1 therefore you will get the pH value is 4.74. Okay, so next what will happen if you add a small amount of acid kepada acidic buffer solution tadi tu. Okay, uh, small amount of acid tu berapa concentration dia? 0.02 molar. So, macam mana you nak kira pH tersebut? You tak boleh directly use the henderson hasselbalch equation without uh, buat RICF table dahulu. Okay, uh, ataupun ICF table. Okay, so sekarang ni kita tahu the reaction yang berlaku bila you add a small amount of acid di dalam acidic buffer solution ialah this. Ah, that's why Miss suruh kamu hafal. Kalau let's say small amount of acid is added to the acidic buffer solution, what happen is the conjugate base akan consume the acid tersebut. So, conjugate base kat situ adalah CH3COO- and then dia akan consume the small amount of acid is added walaupun you add HCl tapi kita letak je H+. Okay, simbol H+. And then dia akan menghasilkan CH3COOH. So you kena buat ICF table, bukan ICE tau. ICF, I stands for initial concentration, C stands for change concentration, F stands for final concentration. Okay, and then... Okay, you masukkanlah nilai initial CH3COO minus. Berapa dia punya nilai dia? 0.1. How you, do you get this? You get this from the salt. Okay, because dalam soalan dia ada bagi tahu concentration of CH3COO and A adalah 0.1. So, we can just assume concentration of the salt is just the same as the concentration of the conjugate base which is 0.1 molar. And how about the concentration of HCl yang added adalah 0.02 molar. And concentration of uh, weak acid CH3COH ni initially ialah 0.1. Ni pun dah dibagi given in the question. So, kiranya nilai initial ni semuanya nilai yang dah dibagi. Dibagi dalam soalan. Okay. Next. Uh, penting ni, you kena assume ataupun let the concentration of uh, HCl ataupun concentration of H plus added ni adalah change. Okay, you kena assume, uh, you kena assume, assume yang X value is equal to concentration of HCl yang added. Okay, di mana? Dia punya uh, X value ni, kita boleh assume dia is equal to 0.02 molar. Okay, so as usual, untuk change, kalau let's say reactant, it will be negative X. Kalau product, it will be positive X. Tapi since that kita dah assume X value ni is equal to 0.02 molar, so masukkan sahajalah 
Untuk return, it will be negative 0.02 molar. Untuk product, it will be plus 0.02 molar. And final concentration. Final concentration ialah di mana you campurkan initial dengan change punya concentration. Where you will get the final concentration untuk CH3CO- ialah 0.08 molar. Uh, concentration of H plus added will be 0 molar and concentration of CH3COH will be 0.12 molar. Okay, kenapa Miss letak M kat tepi ni semua? Sebab Miss tak letak kat hujung ni. Okay, so after you dah dapat the final concentration from the ICF table, barulah you boleh cari pH of this whole thing melalui equation Henderson Hasselbalch. Okay, di mana pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of conjugate base or salt divided by the concentration of weak acid. Okay, uh, lepas sudah dapat final ni, okay. So, kita masukkanlah nilai masing-masing uh, pH is equal to negative log Ka value plus dengan log concentration of uh, CH3COO minus ataupun conjugate base yang final which is 0.08 bahagikan dengan concentration final uh, of the weak acid which is 0.12 therefore we will get the pH value is 4.57 okay so next what will happen to the acidic buffer solution when you add a small amount of base okay so uh, as what I told you you need to remember the equation that happened if you add a small amount of base to the acidic buffer solution. So, this is it. Apa yang akan berlaku? Process neutralization. Di mana the weak acid yang akan react with the small amount of base yang added. And the small amount of base yang added tu kita letaklah with symbol OH-. Okay, and makanya dia akan menghasilkan CH3COO- and H2O since that this is a process neutralization that's why lah ada H2O menempel kat belakang tu tapi H2O ni is in liquid phase so you don't have to worry about it also please 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 jangan lupa nak letak phase okay because phase sangat penting bila dekat chapter 6 chapter 7 you buat je chemical equation uh, phase tu adalah benda yang sangat penting lah untuk kamu letak Okay, so, bila you nak kira pH, bila you dah kacau the acidic buffer solution tersebut dengan adding a small amount of base, you nak cari uh, pH tu, you kena buat RICF table di mana I ialah initial concentration, C ialah change concentration and F ialah final concentration. Okay, so... Uh, initial concentration of CH3COH ni kita tahu dah diberi dalam soalan which is 0.1 molar. Okay and then this one concentration of NaOH yang added initially lah which is 0.02 molar. Lepas tu uh, this is the concentration of conjugate base dah dibagi juga which we can get this one from concentration of CH3COONA which is 0.1 molar. Okay and then next. Okay, anything yang add, okay, tak kisahlah acid ataupun small amount of base is added, okay, you boleh assume yang x value, okay, you can assume x value is equal to the concentration of uh, something yang added tersebut. In this case, concentration of NaOH yang kamu add, okay, which is sebanyak 0.02 molar, okay, so as usual, Concentration change bila untuk reactant ialah minus kan minus x tapi kalau untuk product ialah plus x. Therefore, uh, you masukkanlah uh, concentration change untuk uh, CH3COH ni since that we have assumed the x value is 0.02 molar so it's going to be negative 0.02. Uh, so, OH- minus pun negative 0.02 molar. Uh, CH3CO minus will be positive 0.02 molar. And lastly, the final concentration for CH3COH, you just campurkan je semua benda ni. Uh, so, it will be, kalau CH3COH 0.1 minus with, eh, plus with minus 0.02, therefore you will get 0.08 molar. 
Okay, concentration of OH minus yang added ni will be 0. Concentration of conjugate base H3CO minus ni will be 0.12 molar. Okay, after you have obtained the concentration final for uh, conjugate base and also the weak acid, barulah you boleh cari pH uh, by using the Henderson Hasselbalch equation di mana pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of conjugate base ataupun salt at final okay bagi kalian concentration of weak acid yang final okay so you masukkan saja and therefore you will get the pH value after the NaOH is added to the acidic buffer solution ialah sebanyak 4.92 Okay, so next, uh, this is something yang the question didn't ask you, but then um, this is something that I want you to know. Okay, from the example one, they can suruh kamu calculate the pH of the acidic buffer solution. So you can see the original pH of the acidic buffer solution before you add a small amount of strong acid and base is 4.74. Okay, so this is the original pH value. And after you add a small amount of strong acid, which is sebanyak 0.02 molar of HCl, the pH value berubah sedikit saja, uh, which the value is 4.57. Tapi bila you add a small amount of strong base, which is 0.02 molar of NaOH, the punya pH value pun berubah sedikit saja, which is 4.92. So, nak kata kat sini, uh, betul lah buffer solution tu, tak kisahlah dia acidic ataupun basic buffer solution, ia adalah solution yang di mana dia boleh maintain dia punya pH bila uh, small amount of strong acid ataupun base added to the solution. So, terbuktilah kat sini ya.